Computers because in R17 the CCPM modules will be moved into the VLE. Uh, how do you get to the VLE is now you can now click on the four squares you can come to content approval so notice that these are all now grouped according to the roles so you can see that now I can select this and uh, you can obviously search for the resources via this uh, enhanced search it has the predetermined filters already applied for you so how can you further use the filter is uh, you can actually do uh, click on the filter button and a pop-up will appear of which you can then select drop downs let's say resources then you can check on resource type owner group and then the status uh, whether is this pending or or draft subjects will now be now selectable so let's say you select one of them and then you select another another level then you click apply then you click on the apply selected filters and then it will return you the the search result accordingly content map so uh, let's look at content map so when you look at content map it is the same uh, enhanced search the difference is now uh, to start a new one you need to click on add and then don't do the ALS do the normal content map to fill in all these fields of which then you can download this CSV here and then re-upload it back here in order to start a new uh, and publish a new content map so after you have done that then you can see that the content map will be something like this you has all these various levels syllabus and all that so you can actually add all these things yourself which is not too difficult the more challenging one will be probably the the, the learning outcomes for, for example now you need to click on the three dot to edit then you can uh, because of the three tabs you need to uh, intelligently go back to the tab that you want when you click on edit you can actually change these uh, fields so maybe say one two three so I, I recommend you change a bit by a bit to, to test the output then there's this content map learning outcome these are from originally from the CSV so now you can edit them so to edit them the, the new thing you may need to take note of is now you come here you may need to see that there's already five topics uh, I found a way to add the topic so now let's say you add this add a note and then it will be a new topic so maybe say this is topic 6 and then uh, because of this is topic 6 you want to add a new note so a new note will be a same level as this so you do not want that you want to add a lower note so it will be the let me see it will be subtopic 6.1 then uh, you can have many many subtopics then after that you may want to add a learning outcome which I think is now currently uh, blank so you can add your own so down here again you can add your uh, host okay then once you're done you, you can obviously uh, arrange by there's the same method like you can arrange up and down delete uh, then you can when you're happy with the changes you can click save to make sure you save uh, incrementally so you need to check whether you have done your your the changes are reflected correctly and then you can now look at assessment and then you can see the skill level for the cognitive levels so you you may need to want to add this uh, new cognitive level. so to add a new one you just add new make sure that you you cannot be blank because if it's blank it will prompt you that you cannot save so you need to delete it then you can save